Hey, it's been a hot minute since we've been here. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to the Review Lounge. Yeah. It's like we were evicted temporarily and, uh, and then got the keys back. Well, yeah. So, yeah, so welcome back. We are back. There is a, a, a lot going on. There is a lot that's going to be going on. Um, Absolutely. Things have changed. Setup has changed. Yes, the setup has changed. We are in a new location. Uh, it's still the old location, <laughs> but it's a new part of the old location. Just, uh, yep. And so, <laughs> yeah, we got a lot to talk about. We we've do. Been, we've been gone for a hot minute. It's almost been like, two years. Almost two years. Yeah, in that time, um, we've had the coup. Twice. We, we, twice. We've we've had murder hornets. Okay. Um, we've had financial disaster. We've had lockdowns. We've had mandates. We've had family growth. We've had fam. Uh, yes, we've had family growth. Um, yeah. And um, a, a major war in Europe. So it's it's been it's been pretty busy. It's been eventful. Yes, it's not like we've just been kicking back, sitting back <laughs> on our laurels and doing nothing. Um, but yeah, so we decided to that we were going to start up the channel again because we we kind of never wanted to stop. It's just no. sort of life got in the way. The totally the, got in the way. The whole uh, IRL thing. Um, IRL got in the way of the TRL. And yes, so it did. very good. Thank you. It's, uh, I'm practicing. I know. I've had two years. Um, <laughs> So, so yeah, so so there's been a lot going on. So, yes. I mean, why don't you give us an update on uh, where we've been and what we've been doing? If anything you wanted to share? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, like, well, just to hop on the, the train of, of what Jay already told you, it's just, you know, we've had a lot going on. We've had uh, two collisions with the Koof. Yep. I had two. He had one. I had the Transformer version. Yeah. <laughs> You, you can't say it. I you, can't say no, it. No, Mama Sue don't like it. Mama Susan Wojcicki or Wojcicki, whatever. The woman who runs... It rhymes the, with Voltron. Yes. <laughs> yes the, 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 the woman who, who runs the tube of views does not like when you mention certain yeah, things. Yeah, we've had, we've had uh, me going back to school. You were going back to school, that's right. I'm getting, going back to school. going back to school, getting your degree. I am. So I am. that's cool. Uh, we've had family growth. We've had a we have a new a new youngin in the family, our grandson. That's right. Yeah. Thanks for just dating us. Well, you know, keeping it real, babe. It is what it is. Word. Keeping okay. It real. Keeping it real. <laughs> All right. Keeping yep. it real. It is what it is. We're you know. We're fucking old. No, we're not. No. <laughs> we're seasoned. No. We're se ah, yeah. no. What was it that I told you? We're not. We're not older. We've just leveled up more. So what? Um, yeah, so, yes, we, we, our, 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 our female child has had a son of her own, so, yeah. so things yeah. have expanded, so yeah, so things have, have, have been moving along despite the universe's best attempts at, at coming to an end, at trying to bring us to an end, um, exactly, we've but persevered. we're here, we're back, we're here now, yes, we, we, all so new season, all, yeah, all new season because there is a lot of shit that's going to that, that's either to cover. going down right now or is going to be going down in the near term future. Yeah. Um, and and we figured that we're we're going to be there to cover it. We've got the right perspective, uh, or at least we've got one of the right perspectives. Um, <laughs> you know, because well, uh, as compared to, well, no, because there's a lot of there's a okay. What you're seeing now, because I've been you know I follow what's going on in the space. Right. And you, you sort of have at this point, you have these two two camps that have formed pretty much whether it be video games, comic books, mm -hmm. um, uh, books and novels or yeah. movies or, or TV series. You have these two camps that have, one is the, a, a camp that sort of holding to, to things that are considered traditional like lore and and good story good characters and so on and so forth and the other camp is hey this stuff whatever it may be needs to be modernized and stuff so there's this sort of like unspoken civil war it's like a silent underground civil war I would agree with that. that's going on in a lot of fandoms yeah like i said whether it's comic books or video games or or movies or whatever um and the reason why i sort of mentioned our perspective is because we i think can be more 
objective in some respects than than some of what I've seen out there. Yeah, um, I agree. Like 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 for instance, comic books. I have no mm-hmm. vested interest in comic Neither books. Not I. not a comics books guy. Mm-hmm. You know, so I kind of see it from a, a standoff. A sta- well, and, and outside the <laughs> outside game perspective. Yeah, I'm looking at both sides and seeing. Okay, well. What's the what's the truth of what's going on here? Mm-hmm. Um, and, but then, admittedly, there's other things where I'm like super, super, super jaded. Um, one of the things, <laughs> particularly, is this whole oh, the the Lord of the Rings yes. Rings of Power fiasco that's been going on. Holy shit! What a clusterfuck that's become yeah. um, for yeah. Amazon. And I'm one of those people that I I am a hardcore s- self ad- admitted. <laughs> Tolkien purist. Um, I I've read the books before there was a Peter Jackson film. I have you know the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I have the Hobbit books um, editions that came out before the films. Mm-hmm. Um, I have the Silmarillion. Um, just this past Christmas, I got uh, the the latest book that came out, the mm-hmm. the Nature of of Middle Earth. Um, so yeah, so I'm one of those people. <laughs> So needless to say, with this all this stuff going on with the the rings of power, many a conversation to be had. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably put out uh, the the video right after this one will probably be me. Your your vent. Me ta- taking that on uh, alone, solo, personal. Um, because I do, I am one of these people that knows the lore, mm-hmm. knows you know what's being changed, what's being completely made up. And and has a problem with some of it. Yeah. Um, I do. I, and I Legitimate have no, problem. I, I don't have a problem saying that. And you know, I know people have thrown around the ist thing and the phobe thing and the, the misogyny thing and stuff like that. And that has nothing to do with it. Um, it, it you know, despite what. Despite despite some of the the mainstream media's yeah. or the access yeah. media's uh, best attempts, um, I, I can safely say I am none of those things. But I do have a problem with what Amazon is doing. I am firmly in that camp, yeah. you know, and and I have no qualms about it. But there's other things going on too. Um, apparently, Star Wars is the gift that keeps on giving Disney oh, yeah. Disney Plus. Yeah. Um, just today, as a matter of fact, as we're recording yeah, this, today. As, as we're recording this, um, they just released the the teaser trailer for the new Obi Wan Kenobi miniseries <gasps> that'll be coming to Disney Plus in May. So we'll probably take a look at that in a few. Um, and just give you our initial thoughts. Um, I am not a hardcore Star Wars person. I'll be the first to admit it. I'm I'm a f- big fan of like the original three movies. You know I, what I mean? Yeah. I I didn't get into the Force Awakens, the whole Anakin stories. I I just had a really hard time relating to those. So I'm I'm strictly old camp I, <laughs> Star I, Wars. I, I, I was fan. I was super hardcore Star Wars guy. Um, I grew up with it, you yeah. know, the original trilogy, yeah. um, and then the prequels came out, and I was one of those people that, like... I just could I, not I, get into those. I read the books to the prequels, and the mm-hmm. books, the novelizations to the prequels, way better than the films. Um, there's certain things that, had they made it into the films, I think would have completely changed people's perspective yeah. on the prequels. But nonetheless, still diehard Star Wars fan. Mm-hmm. Um, that all changed with uh, The Force Awakens. Oh yeah. Oh, oh well. Let me. No. I was st- I was still a fan when the Force Awakens came out. I went and saw it in the theater, and then Rogue One came out, and I was kind of still kind of there. Ugh. Then the Last Jedi came out, and I think that's what killed it for me. Last Jedi came out, and then Solo came out, and then the um, uh, the 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 ripoff of Skywalker came out, um, and the whole woke train. Uh, well, it's just that Disney killed just Star everything. Wars. Disney just everything. killed Star Wars. Yes, for they you. did. They, they. At this point, I honestly don't care. I can say I don't care anymore. I, yeah. You know, like we're talking about this this trailer for for Obi Wan Kenobi the miniseries. Um, you know, prior to the Last Jedi, I'd have been amped for this. Yeah. I'd been like, oh shit, yeah, they're finally doing it. This is gonna be mm-hmm. awesome and stuff. So, when I heard that the trailer dropped today, I was just like, eh, I don't care. 
Like, Disney has killed Star Wars for me. And yeah. I was one of those hardcore fans. I was uh, a member of the, the 501st yes, Legion. You, you know, the guys that are always dressing up as stormtroopers yes, at all the events. I was a member of that. Um, I was a member of all sorts of Star Wars related fan groups and stuff like that. And Full suit Mandalorian. $2,000 got the Boba Fett outfit. That's right. <laughs> film film Still quality. Still has it. Film quality <laughs> Boba Fett outfit. Um, and nowadays, I could not care less about Star Wars. I know. Wars. It's sad. Yeah. It, it, it really is sad. So, but anyway, um, let's not dwell on the sadness. We're, we're, we're back. People should be happy. We are. We are very happy. We I'm are. Happy. We are, are very happy. Uh, I'm thrilled. I'm glad to finally be back and doing something and bitching and something normal. Putting it out on the internet. Mm-hmm. Something normal. Yes. Something that, that that's not involving a mask. Right. We could. Uh, well, that's a whole, that's a, it, again keeping it real. That's a whole <laughs> different YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, so what else have we got? Uh, we got... Oh, did you want to tell them uh, some of the things we're going to be doing on the show? Well, go ahead. I mean... Well, I, I, starting on Friday evenings, we are going to live stream some gaming goodness with you all. Yes. Um... We we are going. We we found the <laughs> one of our favorite one of our our favorite games, oh. um, the the Tom Clancy's The Division series. Yeah. Um, in the Division Two, they dropped a new mode um, that it, it's called Hardcore. It, it basic, hardcore beta. Yes, it basically you have one life. Um, you know, if you die, you die. That's it. You lose everything. You got to start at the beginning of the game again. Like which is very frustrating. Right. So I we were we're gonna start live streaming that yeah. um, and other games, not just that one. Right, and every and, week might be something different. Change it up. And so that'll be on Friday Friday, Friday evenings. evenings. You know, for those of you who don't have plans yeah. and got nothing to do, and uh, we'll let you guys know uh, what time we're gonna stream. Uh, it could be- vary. It could be. 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., whatever. But it's, we'll let you know ahead of time. around there. Usually we'll let you know ahead there. of time. And it could be that we're both streaming over to Twitch. It'll be on Twitch. It's um, through Twitch, yeah. Yeah, it'll be through through Twitch. Um, although, moving on, once I work out the logistics and stuff like that, it mm-hmm. could also be through uh, YouTube Live. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, and so Jen will be streaming over on twitch i'll be streaming over on on twitch and once mm-hmm. we get once we get that set up and, and get it get it scheduled and stuff like that then uh, i play a lot more games than jay does that's true at the moment uh only because you know i can play a game for x amount of time and then i'll just get bored and then i'll just like ah, i just want to switch it up a little bit or play or or play something something different that i haven't played before you know going from like division two to a fantasy game of some sort or that kind of thing that is true you know, so I like to change it up a bit because um, I, I do get easily bored if I'm not really into it. Um, so I, I, there's several different games that uh, that we could play on Friday evenings. Sure. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get Jay into uh, playing some other some other games that he normally wouldn't play. Uh, on multiplayer with me, but uh, yeah, you like a lot of those like survival things. I where you love have to, survival you have to games. Find sandbox bandages. games. I love. Yeah, them. the sandbox stuff. The Lone Dark. Um, Was it Generation Z? Uh, survival Aftermath. Yeah. Uh, now I um, I couldn't get into Day Z too much. It, it was kind of no that Generation Zero. Uh, yes, Generation uh, yeah. Zero is is one of the ones I'm playing right now. Um, but like Day Z and and th- um, games like that, I just I'm. Mm-mm. I played it for less than 20 minutes and I'm like, nah, I'm out. I just couldn't get into that one. So it just, it just depends on the mechanics of the game and, and, you know, what all's involved and and that kind of thing. But keeping it short, there are several other games, just not just the division series that we'll be attempting to uh, stream on Fridays. We'll, we'll definitely post usually here on YouTube let earlier in the week, letting people know, hey, oh, this, yeah. is, this is what we're doing Friday. This will yep. be the time. We'll post it. You know, and, and people can come follow you on Twitch um, mm-hmm. or, or me. Yeah. Because we, we can both be doing it. So, you know, you could have your own. You, we could split the fans oh. and have people on Team, team Jen. Team Jen. Team Jen or Team J. I don't know. I think, I'll, I, think I know who, who uh, at least for the gaming. Well, I, I know who that's going to be. It's going to be you. You've got boobs. I don't. 
has nothing to do with it my has boobs. Every, every, on Twitch, it has everything to do with boobs. It has everything to do with me being able to kick your ass. That's what it has to do with. Right. Exactly. That's that what I meant. That is not my boobs. No, I'm just saying people boobs. people deciding whose who stream to follow. Boobs. Yes, exactly. That's what it will come down to. Boobs. People be like, oh, I could follow that <laughs> dude with the hat who talks a lot of shit, or I could follow the chick with boobs. Well, I guess to you, tweet his own. To tweet his own? To tweet his own. <laughs> to tweet his own. Oh, my balls. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep you in the loop on that and keep you posted on that. Um, what else do we got? We're going to just keep well, on Yeah, we're just going to, yeah, we're going to keep talking, obviously about the same things that we talked about before. We'll, yep. we'll review games, movies, TV shows, uh, miniseries, anything new and improved or, or just new that, that are, that. Yeah, not comic it, books. Not comic books. We're Neither not really of us comic are comic book books people. people. Sorry, I, guys. I, I'm subscribed to a bunch of YouTubers that are comic books people. And I don't know the first thing about the them. Half the time, I don't know what the hell they're talking no. about. I haven't. I think the last time I bought no a comic, comic book, books here. Sorry. The last comic books I bought were the. It was a four issue series, Aliens Genocide. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and that was from like the 1990s, I wouldn't early know. early to mid 90s maybe. Um, those were the last comics that I ever bought. So. Nope, nope. But you know, we'll we'll still talk about uh, other stuff. Yeah, you know, there's gonna be plenty Absolutely. of stuff. Absolutely. Like for instance, uh, Paramount Plus is uh, got the Halo. Oh min- yeah. Live action coming miniseries out soon, coming yeah. out at the end of this month. I got my. Bad vibes about that. Um, that's going to be another topic of discussion that'll turn heated, I'm sure. Yes. Um, but we did see the trailer for it, and we are less than impressed. Yeah. Well. Less than impressed. Yeah. For several reasons, and, uh, which yeah. we won't get into we, we, right now. Yeah, I was going to say now. Yeah. That's this, a whole this, other this episode. Is, this is the welcome back thing. We don't want to focus is. on the crap. There'll be is. plenty of time for that. Um, starting tomorrow. No poop. <laughs> no poop. No poop. No poop. Um, so, did you want to pull up the Obi Wan yeah. trailer? Can I can I shrink this? Yeah, you could just minimize that. Just minimize that. And I will pull up and just hop, the U of tube. Yeah, hop on the tube U's. And we will pull up the new Obi Wan. Yes, Obi Wan trailer. The Obi Wan trailer. It's Obi Wan Kenobi. Well, hello there. That's my Obi Wan Kenobi impression. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> Very good. That was good. That was my Ewan McGregor. That, yeah. That's all I can do. Well, hello there. <laughs> Hold. Here we go. Here we go. I can't hear it. The fight is done. We lost. Stay hidden. The key to hunting Jedi is patience. Jedi cannot help what they are. Their compassion leaves a trail. The Jedi Code is like an itch. You cannot help it. Where is he? Now, my initial reaction to that is, uh, other than a, a sad numbness to it, like I, I, 
subconsciously I wanted to be hyped up, especially when I heard Duel of the Fates yeah. just there. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be hyped up like I once would have been at that point. Right, right. And I was just kind of like, eh. Like, you know, I've, I've, I've given Disney the, the benefit of the doubt one too many times and got burned. Mm-hmm. I did it with... Uh, uh, the Last Jedi. I did it with The Rise of Skywalker. I did it with Solo. Um, I did it with large portions of The Mandalorian. Yeah. I did, did yeah. it with the Book of Boba Fett. You know, um, it, it's just at this point, I'm like, yeah, okay. Interesting. Um, I'm glad you got Ewan McGregor. Now, right. hearing Darth Vader right there sort of concerns me. Yeah. Because um, if the rumors are true that Obi Wan is going to fight Darth Vader. In, at some point in that show, um, then that you're going against the canon, because the canon was after their fight on Mustafar, mm-hmm. where Obi Wan defeats Anakin. The next time they meet is on the Death Star in A New Hope. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe he's in it, but they just won't meet. Right. Maybe well, he's doing other things. And, and that, that's series. my thing. Again, that's what that's what my concern is. It's for, one of it's for one the of those, canon. It's one of those situations where you wish you could. At this point, give them the benefit of the doubt. Right, but I've been burned too many times. But it's it's just it's it's Disney. Yes, it's um, unfortunately when you say eh, it's Disney, it's 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 a bad thing. It, it's it's <laughs> yeah, like it's it's beyond the point of even yeah. cautious optimism. Yeah, at this I would point, agree. it's it's just kind of like. I'm glad they got Ewan McGregor. Um, there were a couple other people that I recognized. There, there was one. The um, guy who plays uh, Uncle Owen. I didn't see who that was. The guy who plays Uncle Owen is the same guy who who played him in uh, Revenge of the Sith, in the prequels. Oh, I don't remember who that is. I, I don't know the actor's name. I remember name, the, but I, I saw guy. the the one girl, um, from uh, Game of Thrones. Yes. I can't for the life of me remember her name, but I know who she is. She was she was in Game of Thrones. Um, she had the short, curly, dark hair. Well, that narrows it down. I, yeah. But yes, I, I forget. You know, I forget. it's it for me. It's one of those. But there aren't unfamiliar, all unfamiliars in it. So yeah, and I, like I said, I didn't see anything that really wowed me, and no. and sure, not seeing anything that really wowed me, and knowing that it's Disney and having been burned in the past by giving Disney the benefit of the doubt, yeah. I'm just kind of like, mm, I'm sure you'll find a way to screw it up. Yeah, it I, didn't. It I didn't to seem it. to me like it was going to be a series that had a lot of wow. You know what I mean? It, it didn't feel that way to me anyway. I mean, it, you you see, you know, you see him spying on the kid and, and, and you know, walking around. And here he is walking around in sand. Oh, wait, he's sitting on sand. Hey, he's walking around in sand again. You know what I mean? It, yeah. It's just, it's, there's no, it's very mundane looking. It doesn't look like there's a lot of wow to it. Yeah. But I could be wrong. Yeah, but I, mean, I could be completely wrong. Listen, but we'll have to nothing see. Nothing would make me happier than to find out that yeah. we're wrong and this thing is totally awesome from, from a canonical Absolutely. and from the fans' standpoint. Absolutely. Um, but again, having been burned as much as I've been burned by Disney um, in regards to Star Wars, didn't didn't feel the hype. Yeah. Not feeling I didn't, the hype. I didn't get the warm fuzzies. No. No warm fuzzies here. No. I'm fuzzyless. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, hello there. Well, hello. Well, hello there. <laughs> so, uh, it, yeah, okay, well, there you have it. There's, there's our take. On, there it our, is. our first thing back is to shit on the fucking Obi-Wan trailer. <laughs> We're back. Whee! Huzzah! So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, we, yeah, we'll, we'll, we will... Uh, Let us know your thoughts about it. If you've seen the trailer, uh, give us your thoughts, comments. Yes. Anything give, you'd like to, to chat about. Um... We were throwing throwing it up in the air to have some some live chat sessions, live you know live sessions where we could talk to to you, yes, our viewers, yes. Um, on various topics, one you know one or another. Um, but we're still we're still working out the kinks on that part of it. But I'm sure it's in the pipeline somewhere. The, the technical side of things yes. is is what's what's still being worked on. But yeah, yeah definitely. Um, as always, you know, we we always as always we value your opinions, your Absolutely. thoughts and stuff. So definitely leave a Jump comment back in there. Le- comment, le- yeah, leave a comment. Whether you you agree, whether you think we're full of shit. If, if yeah. there's things that you want to see us do, if there's things that you think are just a big waste of fucking time, um, by all means, just put it in the comments. You know, we, we try to resp- we definitely see all the comments right away. Yes, 
Um, you know, we would definitely try you to respond. Every day. We try to respond as, as quickly as possible. Mm-hmm. But yeah, definitely, uh, you know, let us know if there's something you want us to take a look at. I know one of our old uh, reviews was on the Mythica thing. and Oh my gosh, ooh, guys. Damn. Some people did not like our take wow. on Mythica. <laughs> we can revisit that. Maybe but we'll it revisit was, that. It was, I have to say, it was the only episode... We have like almost twenty five hundred views, I think. It, it, it's definitely the, the best of the episode. Yeah, twenty five hundred views. Definitely the most interaction views. of the episode, but a lot of that interaction. People are still watching it. A, a lot of that reaction was people saying, "You don't know what the fuck you're talking about." What? what? <laughs> so, you know, it's a double edged sword. It's like I yes, suppose. a lot of people watched it, and a lot of people thought we were full of shit. But, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, we don't mind if people disagree and people no, have a different take on stuff. That's cool. As long as things remain respectful and stuff, put yep. it in the comments. Say, hey, this is why I think you're wrong. Some people did that. Yep. Some people were like, hey, I get your take. This is where I think you're wrong. And yep. I'm like, you Absolutely. know what? That's cool because maybe you picked up on something I missed. Yeah. And that's cool. I love interaction like that. That's ultimately why we started the channel was for interaction like that with you guys. Yep. Um you know, because, you know, like I said, I got my perspective, but that doesn't mean it's the only one. That doesn't mean it's the right one. I mean, it usually is, but it doesn't mean it's the only one or the right one, you know. Um, but, you know, put in the comments if, if you know, what, what you'd like to see us tackle, things you'd like to see us tackle, you know, if there's something... You're hearing or seeing, and you're mm-hmm. like, yo, review lounge people. It could people. just be something we haven't seen or, yeah. or, or to pick up on and say, hey, guys, you know, did you have you seen this? Or All right, there you go, the inaugural returning episode of the Review Lounge. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram as well as uh, check out the live streams that we'll be doing on Twitch. So please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notifications, leave a comment if you so desire, and check out the other videos I have linked here. Until next time, peace out.